Hi, in this video we will show you how to get the Chrome console errors so that you can report those issues or errors to your plugin or theme authors. If you, have, if you are having issues with a plugin or theme, many times there will be some sort of JavaScript error and it helps the author of the software to identify the issues. So in this video we will show you where to find the console errors and what they will look like. In this video we will use Google Chrome to find our console errors. If you do not have Google Chrome, there is a link in the description to download it. There are three ways to open up your Google Chrome console. First option is to go up here to the menu, go to more tools, and click on developer tools, or press Control shift i The other option as well is to go to right click anywhere on the screen, go to that's not an image, go to inspect and it will pop up as well. So using this option here, more tools, developer tools, and then it opens up. Then you have these tabs here. All we're focusing, focusing on in this video is the console here. So right now there are no errors, nothing to show. And hypothetically speaking, if you had an error and you were clicking on some element or somewhere on the website and it doesn't work, then you might see an error here. So if you were trying to save a setting of some sort, if you were in some other plugin or a theme and you're clicking save or apply and nothing's happening, then you might have errors here. And that's what you'll take a screenshot of and send to the author. Here you have a little cursor here that opens this up more. So you want to see more of the page because you want to give them all the information possible. So here there's no errors. So let's open up a page that has errors on a website just to replicate the issue here. So I'm on Microsoft's website. I go back up to the settings here. More tools, developer tools. And here you already have four warn four errors and th uh, 19 warnings. We're not worried about the warnings, but we are worried about the errors. So you click on that and you have all this in red. So you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this and send it to the developer. You can also if open it up as well to give them more details so they can see and identify the issue that is potentially causing your problem. Thanks for watching and good luck and hopefully you have resolved your issues.